Okay, I'm going to do a quick video here on how to bridge fonts. It seems to come up a lot. So this is how to bridge a font in Inkscape for CNC cutting. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and select my rectangle tool. And I'm just going to make a path here. So I've got this rectangle set here. And I'm going to convert this to a path by going path, object to path. Now if I select my node editor, you'll see I've got four nodes here. That's no longer a rectangle that's now turned into a path or it's not a rectangle object it's now a path but so now I'm going to take and type out some font and I'm just going to type out sample I'm going to set that here on top of my rectangle and then I'm going to type it out again I'm going to turn my caps off and type out sample. I'm going to do that in lowercase. That way I've got more letters that need bridged. Now the reason I've got two of them is I also want to clarify a lot of times people don't know what a positive cut and a negative cut is. If I weld or union this font to the outside of this rectangle to cut out, that's going to be a positive cut. This I'm going to difference out and cut out of the inside of the rectangle. That's going to be a negative cut. The, the positive cut, I'll select that text and go path, object to path. And now you see down here I have a group of six objects. So I'm going to go object, ungroup. Now I've got six paths there. Now I'm going to go path, union. Now that font is now turned from a text into a path. So I'm going to hold shift, select my rectangle and I'm going to go path union now I have unioned that font to the top of this rectangle and that will cut out and there's no need to bridge font that's being cut out as a positive font as a positive cut sorry because that's going to cut that out that that's fine just the way that is Now this font I'm going to go path object to path and then I'm going to go object ungroup now these are laid in here as paths but before I can cut those out if I don't bridge those the centers are going to drop out so the way you bridge these is you come in now when I converted that to a path and then ungrouped it it left them as individual letters I personally like to leave them that way while I'm bridging them that way if I had more than one A I can just bridge this one and then duplicate it and replace the other ones or you know the P's whatever it's also handy for certain letters when you bridge them I like to center my bridge up and if they're individual letters it's easier to center on that object but anyway now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna bridge these now, all I have to do to bridge these is I'm gonna take my rectangle tool and I'm gonna make a rectangle here this font is, let's see, we're about an inch tall. It's a decent size. So my bridges, I generally try to make at least an eighth inch thick. So up here I've got my units set in inches and I put my width at 0.125. Now that's gonna be an eighth inch thick bridge. Now I'm gonna lay that in there close to where I want it. Then I'm gonna zoom out I'm going to go control D and duplicate that and I'm going to pull this bridge over here. Now I can pull that down. I'll probably need to stretch this one out a little bit to cut into that. Get it laid in there about where I want it. Then I'm going to control D. I'm going to duplicate that again and bring it over here. Now here I'm going to shorten that up because I don't want to cut into the letter much. I just want to cut through this part of the E. So now that I've made my little rectangles here, I'm going to shorten that up a little more. Now that I've made my little rectangles and laid them in there, now I select. I have the rectangle selected and I hold shift and select the letter. Go up here to path, difference, and that's cut that rectangle out. The same with this P, I'll hold shift, 
select both path difference now I'm gonna come over here select this rectangle hold shift path difference now if you come in here and look you can see it left a little bit of a remnant here don't worry about that we'll fix that after we bridged it same here it's kind of jacked up the way it's cut in now you're gonna to go to your node editor and we can clean up that where we bridge that in there so now what I would do here is select both of these by dragging your node editor tool around them you hover your cursor over one of them until it turns red and then hold shift and hit J that will join those two nodes now I can highlight just this one and come up here and select this make selected nodes smooth and smooth that out now I will delete these two nodes by selecting them and hitting backspace now I can select these two what I'll do here is I will make the selected segments lines so you hit this and that will snap the handles between those in a straight line now I select them both make sure they're smooth and then I'll go to my align and distribute menu so over here I think mine's always on the sidebar if you don't have that open I'm trying to think right here it is under object go down to align and distribute and that will open that menu up and then when you're in node editor you can come over here and it shows nodes what I want to do is make these perfectly vertical and that's what this tool here will do it will align the selected nodes to a common vertical line as you can see it moved that one just slightly now that's a nice straight line your letters bridged this will be good other than now I will go around this letter select nodes and backspace and reduce the amount of nodes I have on this path so I'll go around like this I select them backspace and then smooth what's left as you can see that brought that handle back that's no big deal I can select those two and snap that back now here I would select all of these backspace here I would get rid of most of those now select what's left smooth them out as you can see I've got a pretty clean path there that's gonna cut out real nice same with the E I'm gonna come over here select this see where I chopped that out it left some stray nodes there I'm just gonna select both of those backspace and then I'll go around and reduce some nodes don't worry I'm gonna go back and smooth them when I'm done so I'm just going around selecting nodes backspace and getting rid of those nodes because we want a nice clean cut path with minimal nodes let's see here I'll move this one over here if I double click anywhere it's gonna add a node and then I'm gonna delete that one so now you can see I've reduced those to a pretty minimal amount and then I just go back around and select these and smooth them out if I smooth all my nodes that are left other than the ones that are on you know straight lines you don't want to smooth those or it will it'll make them go all wonky but everything there is smooth so that path's good and then the last one was this a same deal where I cut that in you've got some extra nodes there we don't want I'm gonna select those backspace smooth those out and then same deal I'd work around here and reduce the amount of nodes I've got left for a nice clean cut now here I've covered this in other videos but if you'll notice this node doesn't look like the other nodes there's two no nodes here if I select if I click on that and pull as you can see there was an extra node hiding there so I'm going to hit Control Z to go back. The way to get rid of those is select them both. Hover your mouse until it turns red. Hold Shift, hit J. That's joined those two nodes, and now there's just one node there in that corner. So then I'm going to finish my process of going around. Selecting nodes, smoothing out what's left, deleting the extra ones. And we're going to make a nice clean cut path there's another spot where there's two nodes but I'm gonna delete those I don't need them 
Okay, let's see here. Get rid of that one. There we go. Let's smooth out what's left. And now I've got a pretty clean, I can actually get rid of these two and get rid of that one. So now my font, I've bridged these letters to where these will cut and the centers will stay in them. And I can d difference these out of my path and should be good to go. One additional thing I'll do depending on the size of the font is spaces like this. This is all that's going to hold this this part here in. So what I do to check my spacing, it's kind of crude, but I'll take my circle tool, hold control, and I draw a circle here. If you hold control, it keeps it symmetrical height and width. Now I'll make this circle. I'm going to lock my scale there. I'm going to make this circle an eighth inch. And then I will take this circle change the color so I can see what's going on and I set it in spots like that just to make sure I have at least an eighth inch of material there to hold this this part in together and I'll go around anywhere that I'm in doubt anywhere that looks tight and I'll just check and make sure that I have enough meat there to hold the center in like this might be since it's holding all this in I might take my note editor and just pull this down just a little bit just to make sure I've got a nice solid cut and nothing's going to be weak and flimsy. Once I'm done, get rid of that circle. Now I can take and select all of my font, hit shift control plus or path union. It's the same thing. Now I've turned this into one path. I can select my path here and go path difference and now I have cut this out, this path. This is a negative cutout. My centers are bridged. It won't fall out. Everything's thick enough. Nothing will be weak. And that's how I bridge my font. The only thing left to do now, even though I cleaned this font up, these letters, I didn't clean these extra letters, but the only thing left to do is go around and reduce nodes. Select them, backspace, smooth out what's left, and you'll end up with a really nice clean cut. See like this, there's way too many nodes on these letters. So I'll go around, select, backspace, smooth out what I got left, and make sure I have a nice clean cut file. Your plasma table will thank you, and your customer will thank you. Go around and smooth all this out. Reduce nodes. Oh, I actually took one extra one there out I didn't want to take out. There we go. Smooth those out. And you work your way around. See, this is something Inkscape, Inkscape likes to do here. When I cleaned this letter up before I differenced it, I had removed this node. And a lot of times when you difference or union to something, it'll add a few extra nodes back in. So you always want to go around and double check. Make sure it didn't add any spare nodes on you and go around clean this font up you kind of get a feel for what nodes you can delete and what nodes you need to keep to maintain the contour after you do it a little bit of practice you get a feel for it because you know like here if i went a little too far you can see it kind of gets a little kind of changed the trajectory of my path there so i'll just control z go back Take those two out, leave that one. Uh, here, I'd probably add one here in the center by double clicking. If I can get it to double click, there we go. And then delete those, delete that. I can probably get rid of those. Eh, I'm actually going to go back. I'll add one here and delete this one. And then get rid of those. And you can see it kept my path pretty much the same as it was. Everything's smoothed out. There we go. So now that font is bridged. Ah, see here's another trick Inkscape. It's always good to double check your files. We were just here a second ago and there was just two nodes. Now you can see I got this little grayed out node. That's a double node. 
So I'll select it, Control J, or Shift J, I'm sorry, not Control J. Shift J, join those two, smooth it back out, and that'll be good. And there we go. I didn't clean the top font yet, but for the purpose of discussion, this is a positive cut. It's union to the outside, and then you would clean it up. And then this font we've bridged and differenced out of the main path, and that's ready to cut. Your centers will stay in. That's all there is to it. Hope this helps some people out. Thanks for watching.